So hello, welcome in this short video class, which is based on the design of staging. Actually, after constructing all the five elements of the elevated water tank, which is top dome, uh, bottom and top ring beams, uh, base slab and tank wall, then we need to design how to support this elevated tank above the ground to certain height. So we need some structural components. So elevated tanks are actually uh, they are supported by some staging kind of uh, mechanism. This staging may consist of masonry shaft, RCC tower or RCC columns braced together with tie beams. So we will just have a look on the definition of staging here. I have written it. Staging actually consists of components of a structure supporting a liquid tank container to locate it uh, significantly above ground level above general ground level okay so this is the general definition of a staging so we are going to support a water retaining liquid tank above the ground general ground level in the next line it is written pedestal or simple blocks of short height which are used just to support a tank will not be called a staging ye kuch bhi humne aise hi cement ka kuch chote chote blocks ya kuch bhi is which is not involving any structural design that is not called a staging so gen, uh, the staging is a structural component and a staging can be some example of the staging is here soon the first and foremost i would like to show you this one first one is this so it is named as complete rcc wall rcc wall water staging this one is this one is rcc columns all right and rcc column water ta tank staging this one involved steel bracing steel bracing and the last and the this more tank involves the design of masonry staging aap dekh rahe ho charo mein एक बार हम इन्हें थोड़ा सा क्लीन करके हम देखते हैं सबसे पहले में आरसीसी वॉल हुई है यूज दूसरे में आरसीसी कॉलम्स तीसरे में स्टील ब्रेसिंग्स या ट्रसेस चौथे में सिंपल ब्रिक्स आर यूज एज मैसनरी वॉल सो वन अनदर टर्म वन इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म कम्स हाइट ऑफ स्टेजिंग एक्चुअली हाइट ऑफ स्टेजिंग इज वॉट हाइट ऑफ स्टेजिंग इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द height difference between the lowest supply level of tank and the average ground level at the tank site this is the average ground level okay okay this is the average ground level but the tank has two level the first level is the top level and the second level is the lower level lowest supply of supply level of tank and the difference between these two these two is considered height of a staging h s t g so this is what the concept of height of staging so similarly this is written here uh, the which a uh, staging may consist of masonry shaft rcc tower rcc column braced together what is tie beam tie beam you must have seen if you are if you remember a chair in your home which is which exactly if we draw it on a diagram it would look like this and a chair has actually four legs four legs which looks like this and these four legs are the vertical look like the co columns of a structure but these four columns which is actually supporting the top uh, uh, the seat of the chair is further braced this is bracing of the legs of the chair and these bracings are also further again braced so these are the bracing member which are called tie beams okay so tie beams are nothing but the simple tension members those beams which are directly stressed under tensile forces so simplest form of rectangular tank supported by beams and four columns can we look like this if there is uh, the design area is increased if the need is increased load is increased then we can go for this go for this and go for this if still there is increase in plan and area then we can increase the number of internal beams and internal columns we can increase the number like this introducing we can introduce some extra number of tie beams inside the plan 
so by introducing this we make our uh, staging much more efficient and powerful and flexible also not rigid so this is what you can read very easily this is uh, this is again a bracing here also this is bracing this is bracing circular bracing here it is a rectangular bracing here it is again rectangular bracing all right so you can read it this is very important so actually this is uh, the diagram where staging is shown like this rectangular bracing and this bracing acts like uh, a string which is uh, if we idealize the structure a structure can be idealized like a uh, lumped mass which is uh, simply supported by on a, simply suspended on a string string with a stiffness ks and mass is like this if some lateral load wind load or some kind of uh, environmental load acts upon it then the structure may oscillate in this direction so the um, quantity ks matters a lot in the design of a structure so this uh, quantity ks is called stiffness a stiffness is very very important for uh, because uh, and this uh, stiffness is very much influenced by our design of a staging by the uh, staging which kind of a staging we choose so stiffness should be not be much uh, flexible it should neither be much flexible it should neither be much rigid if it is very very rigid then it offers a big restraint and structure may develop some cracks and if it is very very flexible the structure can oscillate very a bit high amplitude so we don't need either we need a optimum stiffness uh, so stiffness is influenced by which kind of a staging you choose the one more important uh, in the calculation of a staging which uh, is one more important concept which is involved is the influence of the wind load so i am just giving you a, sm a small uh, summary on the wind load calculation wind load calculation is uh, completely discussed in detail in is 875 i think part 3 or part 4 here wind load pressure pz we have to calculate this is the wind load wind pressure how do we calculate wind pressure it is equal to 0.6 time vz square this is the formula what is vz vz is design wind speed and design wind speed is obtained by using this formula which we are going to see here a uh, vz is equal to k1 into k2 into k3 into vb ka whole square what is vb vb is basic wind speed and k1 k2 k3 are the coefficients risk coefficients height factor uh, uh, k2 depends on height k3 depends on topography or demography so these all all three constants these constants are given in the problem and we just have to put it and vb vb is uh, uh, given in a table Uh, in which actually how do we get vb basic wind speed actually complete map of india just like it is divided in different earthquake zones so the complete map of india is divided in different wind speed zone so we can get uh, any wind speed uh, wind speed zone for any city just like dehradun we have so after getting vb we calculate vz and from vz we calculate pressure wind pressure and when, how do we get wind load wind load wl is calculated by pz into area area cross sectional area okay pressure into area we can get wind load and if we get the wind load how do we get moment about the foundation moment can be get by wind load w multiplied by h this is the moment about the bottom okay so you understand it very easily in the given picture if this is a tank Uh, just like we have put it a uh, small tank here 4 meter by 4 meter rectangular and this tank is further actually further supported on four columns only two columns you are seeing and this column are is further braced uh, by two tie beams here and this is my overhead water tank so there are a b c d e f three levels first level is here let me show you by different color first level here second level here three level three levels are here and the three kinds of load uh, three at the different level different wind load will be there because wind load depends on the height so we can calculate p1 p2 p3 p1 pz at height 
pz at height 2 pz at height 3 and then correspondingly we can get p p1 p2 p3 this is the wind load or w1 w2 w3 whatever it is okay how do we get it just have a look um, okay we have just calculated so what is w1 w1 is the wind load at height 1 so wind load at height 1 is equal to pressure wind pressure multiplied by area area is height height of the tank into width of the tank similarly uh, we can calculate w2 we can get w3 we are, i'm not going to ask you the exact calculation but this is how the wind load is calculated at different bracings and different height of the tank and then um, we also calculate the moment uh, moment of these loads about the about the ground level this is the ground level and about this ground level we can calculate if this is my uh, p and this is my height h then moment is equal to moment is equal to uh, moment will be equal to p times h so same thing is done here okay p into by 2 into h1 by 2 like this we calculate the calculation of moments and these moments is further used to calculate mu by fck this is a pu and mu interaction curve is there and we use this interaction curve to get the value of pt uh, pt by fck which gives us the percentage of steel reinforcement required and then we also calculate evaluate asc using this formula and then we provide sufficient spacing with steel reinforcement in transverse as well as in the longitudinal detection so i know uh, the design of a staging uh, is not exactly completely taught in the detail i know i don't know how it is kept in the syllabus but uh, still for an introduction we need to know something about the staging so i have just told you in brief so it was a uh, nice to learn all uh, details about the tank in which we learned uh, different um, concepts regarding starting from the classification of tank concrete mix site conditions and then joints and then uh, control of crackings and then design of different elements and then finally coming to the staging so thank you we will meet in the next unit very soon